everybody. It's uh, 916. The skies behind us are both cloudy and gray, but I got something that's going to make you smile. One is a bit of a neat freak. The other is just a hot mess. The footlighters in Newport are putting on a female version of the odd couple. And this morning I am joined by Stephanie Adams and Mary Stone ahead of their closing weekend. Ladies, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. So the female version of the odd couple, for those who don't know, it is more or less the same version with the one exception. Is that fair? <laughs> Yeah, yep, yeah absolutely. Yep. Okay, okay. So you guys are, are heading into your closing weekend. And just, I would imagine for you, and either one of you can take this, just being able to get back on stage after after 20 months, I would imagine is, is a very exciting thing. Yes, absolutely. It, it, the energy that you get, you can do theater over Zoom and all those things. You don't have the audience reacting. And that you play off that, and there's a big energy. And that's the differentiator for me for theater versus film or TV. Sure. Is, you know, there's that interaction. There's that exchange of energy yep. that you get from them, they get from you. It's, you know, you're in the room when it happens, and it never happens again the same way. You're in the room where it happens. I don't I know, know if you sorry, realize sorry, you made a Hamilton reference. <laughs> <rabbit. No, laughs> it's all right. <laughs> They're not <laughs> doing <laughs> Hamilton in <laughs> Footlighters. No, maybe no, 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 next, next season or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe someday. All of a sudden, ticket sales. <laughs> <laughs> Booming. Um, but talking about this particular version, so while the story is the same and the characters kind of represent the same things, are there other nuances? because it's all ladies in the room that you can <laughs> sort of sense when you're out there? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, um, obviously the archetype of Florence and Oscar, or excuse me, Florence and Olive is Felix and... and um, Oscar. Oscar, thank yep. you. Um, but they have a, a group of ladies that they get together with. That's their, their support system, their friends, sure. you know. Um, and they have some very specific things that are, I would say, women things. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know how absolutely. Things, right? I think that's a yep. fair way to say it. Yeah. And one of the things I love the most is the, the, the poker game from, from is, it's not a poker game. Nope. No. <laughs> what, do they, what do they do? Oh, in? It's, it's Trivial Pursuit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a little dated in that way because, I mean, I don't <laughs> Never know. Stone. No. Never Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Two words, Union Jack. I'm not going to leave it at that. <laughs> I may still be holding a grudge from 30 years ago. Yeah, Mary, Mary Stone and I used to play Trivial Pursuit a few years mm -hmm. ago. Yes. It was knockdown down, drag out series. Indeed. Indeed. Might still be. <laughs> I'm thinking it's it still would be. If it wasn't for a piece of the pie, I wouldn't yeah, be bringing it up. Yeah, maybe a little bitterness <laughs> still there. Um, is it been tough to get audiences back in? Because I don't want to say people have gotten comfortable being at home, but there's still some hesitation. Just getting people back into the room. Do you guys get the sense of that, or do you get the sense of as people kind of come through the door, it's like, oh, I remember this. This is really fun in terms of the audience reaction and that kind of thing. I think it's really about yes, breaking that idea of it. Once people come in, the Footlighters lobby is very big, open welcoming there's plenty of space to spread out concessions are available but you take them outside yeah. and once they're there so it's just kind of breaking the mold of I'm home and trusting that we've got your back you can come in we're gonna take care of you yeah. and keep you safe we want to keep all of our audiences safe our cast and crew safe yes and so when people hear Footlighters by the way Mary you can probably speak to this as, as, as well as anyone that's one of those companies that has been around when I say forever I mean forever <laughs> and I mean that in a really good way right. um, where do the Footlighters do their shows now, and what's it like to be with a company that, that people just know they can go and be comfortable and feel like they're home again? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Footlighters has been around since 1963. We wow. are in the Stained Glass Theater in Newport, which is a national historic landmark, um, a church that is turned into a theater, which is yeah. a beautiful, beautiful space. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so cool to be in that space. We've had people come in that have said, I got married here when it was a church. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so, fun. I mean, that's fun. That's yeah. fun stuff. So, it just has a lot of history. The group has a lot of history. And to your point, we've been around for a long time. Uh, we hope to be continue to be around for a long time. So Good stuff. Okay, closing weekend. Give me give me times, show times, and all that kind of good stuff. So, we start Thursday, 730. Okay. We have a nice early show for you, so you don't have to be out too late. Okay. On a work night, Friday, 730. We have a 2 o'clock matinee on Saturday, and our final show is Saturday. Saturday at 7.30. Uh, tickets online or you buy them when you get there? Absolutely, both. You can do both. Okay. So go to footlighters.org, O-R-G. O -R -G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know me. Okay. And, <laughs> and I wish I had the box office line memorized, but sadly, I do not. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll take care of it but online. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get all the stuff at local12.com as well. Stephanie. Mary, it's good. It's the first time I've called her Mary, maybe I was ever say, in my I life. Know who you're talking about. That is stone right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's going to be a great show. Break a leg, yes. and uh, it's 9:21. We'll be right back.